Everyone has heard the saying, we're all connected. That statement could never be clearer than when discussing watersheds, especially the Mississippi River. Farms along the river and its many tributaries run the risk of sending fertilizers and sediment downstream, eventually to the Gulf of Mexico. But farmers in Mississippi are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service to ensure valuable nutrients and productive soils remain on their fields. Our major practices that we recommend are our land leveling, our, our dikes, our water control structures, our irrigation storage reservoirs, and our own farm storage reservoirs. Those are the main practices that we use for every landowner that comes in on trapping our nutrients on the farm and storing them you know, for later use. These different practices or conservation efforts fuse together to form a tailwater recovery system. A tailwater recovery system ensures that water never leaves the farm. Rather, it's trapped and recycled, preventing sediment and fertilizers from washing into waterways. The ultimate goal here in the Mississippi Delta is to stop the sediments and nutrients from entering our streams and rivers, which ultimately ends up in the Gulf uh, of Mexico. So by doing the conservation practices in the Mississippi River Basin area here, we can stop those, we can stop those nutrients from entering our streams and we will have a direct impact on the, on the Gulf Coast. Through NRCS's Mississippi River Basin's Healthy Watersheds Initiative, or MRBI, NRCS is providing technical and financial assistance to landowners who want to improve their fields. These improvements are a win-win because they boost the farmer's production and help the environment. The one for one that we've seen in our experience with NRCS has been that as we focused on farming efficiency, the, the environmental footprint of our farm has shrunk. And from a farming perspective, you know, a lot of times the people who sign up for an NRCS program are thinking about farming efficiency and don't realize the environmental benefits are matching up one for one. Watson is proud of the economic and environmental benefits so far and looks forward to reaping them in the future, too. For more information on NRCS conservation programs, visit an NRCS office near you or www.nrcs.usda.gov. For the United States Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.